Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm a library assistant with the Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. Now, as our days grow shorter and our nights get colder and we're snuggled in with our loved ones or a family or a bubble, this is a great opportunity to fall into board games at the library. So I don't know about you, but I'm a really big mystery buff. And I was really excited to come across this game here. It's called Deception, A Murder in Hong Kong. It's a strategy game. It's 14 plus, And uh, you can have four to 12 players play this game. It's a game of deduction and deception. So one thing that's very exciting about this game is that the actual murder and the accomplice are not known. So two of the players are picked as the murderer and the accomplice and they are part of the investigators. So they're like these secret spies, secret murderers that are sitting with you around the table. So you have to try to solve the crime and as well you have to watch out for the murderer and the accomplice. Because the other um, aim of the game could possibly be to murder the witnesses. So Awesome game, um, definitely worth picking up. Drop by, pick it up, and see if you can solve the crime. <laughs> So I was looking through the library catalog and I came across this game. It's called Team 3 and it's a construction game uh, where the construction crew is actually three monkeys. So how can you resist that? Now I opened up the box and we have some different components here. First of all we have what's called a blueprint card. And this is our plan of what we're going to do. This is what we're going to build. And over here, we have some blocks of different, well, basically, yeah, we have some different shapes, different colors. And we're going to use these blocks to build what's on the card. Now, this is a cooperative game. So the three players are going to cooperate to build what's on the card, okay? We have three different roles in the game. We have <laughs> the love, we have an architect. Um, we have a supervisor, and we have the builder. Now, with the three monkeys, it's sort of that thing of um, uh, you know, um, not speaking, not seeing, and not hearing. So each person has a challenge that they need to overcome each role. So the architect can't speak. Um, and the builder um, can't, uh, can't see. The, um, and the supervisor um, can't hear anything and has to communicate with gestures. So with those limitations and challenges in mind, everyone needs to work together to build what's on the card. Okay. It's a 14 plus game uh, for three to six players. It takes about 30 minutes. Anyways, happy building. Now, um, if you like the Inquirer, you remember that newspaper they used to sell at the grocery store with all the gossip and the scandalous headlines in it? Then you'll like Man Bites Dog. Now Man Bites Dog is a card game and it is for two to six players ages eight and up. So for your, um, your children, your tweens, your teens and everybody onward. It's a great game um, if you have some time that you need to fill and you need to keep uh, the kids occupied or the adults for that matter. So what you do is you have a dealer and the dealer uh, deals out hands just like any kind of card game to um, a couple people. You deal out so many hands, uh, so many cards rather, 
and then the person uh, picks the ones they want to keep and then they discard the other ones. And then the dealer replaces those. So you're left with a handful of cards and they all have words on them like fake or false for. And you string these together to make your scandalous headline. Now each card has a certain amount of points on it, so you want to make headlines um, where you can get the most amount of points. Now, if you want to double your points, you can do so through the use of these exclusive cards with the little dog on them. So that doubles your points. And these are randomly distributed through the, uh, the pack. So anyway, whether um, you're the angel rescuing the teen, or you're the library assistant plays man bites dog, I highly recommend this game. Have a good day.